Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Fallout 3. In our last video, I did end the day having just arrived into Vault 108. No reason to be here other than the fact that I want to see what Vault Tech did to the poor residents here. Although the place does seem to be filled with mole rats because when I logged in, I got immediately attacked by mole rats. Silence pistol. This is the living quarters. Okay, let's look everywhere else first before we go in. Well, they've been dead for a while because they're pure skeletons. Let's have a... Nope, nothing there. Gary 42. Okay. I hear more rats. I think I got it. Just a bunch of ruined books. There's the lab. Door to Vault 108 cloning lab. Oh, loverly. They made clones. Locker. No, I don't want leather armor. I want combat armor to repair my my armor. Okay, we'll come back to the cloning lab. Well, no, let's do the cloning lab since we're right here. We can go into the living quarters afterwards, maybe, if they don't connect for any reason. Which I don't know why they would, but that would make things very useful, wouldn't it? Is everybody dead in here? I'm assuming. <laughs> Darts. Oh, wait, combat armor. Perfect. What I was just complaining about wanting. Empty locker. <laughs> no, they're not all dead. Gary seven. Oh, they're all Gary clones. Oh, they're bad guys. Clearly, if I can take a finger, you must be a bad, bad person. Go to the right. It looks like it's a dead end. Is that an iron? Yeah. Did they have to live in the cloning? Like, was there like a master Gary? And then... Did you make clones off of the Master Gary, or did you make uh, the clones uh, off of the clones? Gary 25. Gary 43. I I wonder how many clones there were made. I think the highest number I've seen so far has been 43. Gary 47, so we've been at least 47 copies now.
Flying congressional style. I feel like that's speech. <gasps> bobblehead, bobblehead. Charisma bobblehead. The inscription on the base reads, nothing says pizzazz like a winning smile. Your charisma has been permanently increased by one, which means it's all of like, what, two now, I think? Skill specials. Two. <laughs> I haven't needed it at all. Like in, in the slightest. Can I, can I, I can't sleep when enemies are nearby. Okay, so Gary 47, and there's another Gary over here. <gasps> the first Gary, it's Gary number one. Oh. Gary. There's two more in there. Gary 41. Nope, still up to 47. Dead Wastelander? Ew. I was like, is that a terminal? That doesn't work. We just need something to explain the thought process behind the cloning. Was it like a scientist guy put in here all by himself, but how would he still be alive? Recon armor. Oh yeah, for sneaking. No, I'm not going to be sneaking in this game. It's not this playthrough. I don't know why I wanted to open that. Trying to follow this, enter and exit through the same door so that I don't get lost. I don't want to miss a room. All kinds of tin cans if you needed them for anything. that door to there. Okay. I feel like I'm spinning my mouse real fast. There's a safe. Combat armor. Great! Great place to get combat armor. Very easy. Wonderful. Oh, cloning log. Corruption detected attempt partial recovery. Gary 53. Oh, there we go. That's uh, the highest one so far. Is hostile toward all non-clones, as was something case with the previous 52 attempts. We may have to consider a mass of disposal of the pre-existing Gary clones as the observation rooms are getting quite full. Attempt 54. Gary 54 exhibits no change in hostility towards non-clones. If anything, he is even more hostile. Dr. Peterson can attest to this, having been injured while examining Gary 54. Okay, so there were other people here, but they chose... Well, I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be a guy. They could have just named all the clones Gary, right? Injur but he was injured examining Gary 54. Tomorrow we are going to dispose of several of the Gary clones, which will leave room for many more attempts and salvaged data records. I should look at the Gary bodies and see if they all look the same.
Okay, this is where I was. So, I, I exploded that Gary. So, okay, that's what he looked like. Was there another Gary back over here? No, I exploded them all. Oh wait, here's one. No, I blew off his head. <laughs> like I did fight stop exploding them, I could decide. All right, let's just remember that's what Gary one looked like. And the door was back. Oh God, over here. Yes. So it sounds like they made a bunch of clones and it didn't end well for them. Huh. Female dorms are blocked off. <laughs> oh! oh my God. Huh. They are all the clones of the same person. Oh, scared me. Whoa, that was glitchy. Main entrance, living quarters. Okay, they did connect. Great. Locked easy. Okay, not a bad haul. Totally worth it. And metal armor as well. A lot in here. So yeah, I think I was trying to say that they had a vault and their science was to make clones. And it sounds like the clones were aggressive towards everybody who wasn't a clone. <laughs> and... <laughs> Gary! Gary! And they killed everybody. Gary. They somehow got out. Gary 54, I think, was the oldest number, <laughs> biggest number. There's an overseer's office I can get to. That'll maybe have some more information. Footlocker. No, no evil Gary clones nearby because I can sleep. easy and not a bad haul and I didn't lose a body pin that time around either hmm no overseer's office up here maybe there's another route maybe there is no route the overseer's office. That could be a thing too, I guess. <sighs> Cafeteria. Yeah, it's, it's very creepy in here. Reactor. Blocked that off really well. <laughs> I like how the women's dorms were completely blocked off. <laughs> okay, 
Okay. Again, lots of burnt books and tin cans if you need them. Metal armor and combat armor has been great. I wish there were more working terminals. Actually, I don't think there's been a single working terminal at all. Oh, I'm over encumbered and I can't run? What? How did that happen? Oh, it's because I have all this stuff. I need to fix that. And the combat armor is super heavy for some reason. That's the maintenance. That's, I think, probably where I came in at. Let me just double check that I didn't miss another room. Because otherwise, I think... No, nope, I think... Maybe... We may be nearly done in here. Another horrible Vault-Tec experiment! Check! Okay, and that's where I came up. Okay. I assume... is the way back out. Well, that was awful, as expected. I hope one of them might not be so bad, but I think they're all awful. And I imagine they probably only get worse. Okay, before we go to work on main quest because we do have a little bit of time I think Actually, we have more than a little bit of time I want to go to Megaton and drop off all my costumes <laughs> because why not no I don't I'm fine please don't give me anything I'm not, well, I'm not really in a hurry but I do, I do want to get to Rivet City today Hi guys! Oh, and I can drop off a bobblehead! Okay, so... I can sell... The Highwayman's friend can be dropped off. Got a few things I can sell. And then... Those are 50 pounds! But... It's fine. I've only got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more to find, it seems. Well, if I don't start finding more along my questing, some Googling maybe need to be. I was going to go to the Corvega factory since I was so close, but you know what? It's fine. I can go back there later. But I may need to Google if I can't find them on my own. All right, the water's a life. We need to go back to Rivet City Science Lab find dad, if I remember correctly. We've been avoiding this for a very, very, very long time. And again, let's wait, stand and sleep for nine hours until everybody's awake and the shops are open because I can sell some of those weapons that I have. That'll help give me, that will help give me some more bag space so that I can keep my combat armor on me. All right, go to the market. And there was also... Any trouble in this area? Take a look around. Hmm, yeah, I wanna investigate looking at that for a second too. I've I got, got to sell, let's, let's sell my extra combat shotgun, mines, silence, Sell that. Um, I think that's it for right now. Thanks. Okay, so there was this thing going on about a council seat when we were initially in Rivet City. And we found out that Seagrave had been doing business with slavers? If you had read that letter, you'd know I'm no slaver. And you know I'm not dealing with them. But if that letter gets out, they won't trust me. 
I'll never get a seat on the council, and Bannon will make me pay for trying to replace him. If you care about Rivet City half as much as I do, tell Danvers that Bannon is blackmailing me, but don't show her the letter. Danvers, so we need to find Danvers. And I don't know where Danvers is at. That was what I needed to do. I wrote down See her you name. later. Not that I'm gonna remember or even know where she is. But I imagine she's one of these Rivet City people. Oh look, there's a lady. I'm looking for troublemakers, have you seen any? You're not You're not her. Any trouble in this area? Danvers, Danvers. Bridge Tower, maybe? Well, let me wander around for a minute to see if I can find this lady. If I can, I'll bring you back in. Aha! I found Commander Danvers. If you see anything suspicious, be sure to tell the security. Maybe you don't know who you're talking to. I'm Commander Danvers, Assistant Chief of Security. I have never found you at all in all of my times here. So you report to Chief Harkness? I'm his second in command. I run the night shift and he runs the day shift. Okay. Is this conversation going somewhere? Because I've got things to do. Like sleeping? Bannon is trying to blackmail Seagrave Holmes. That's pretty underhanded, even for Bannon. Once word gets out, I bet the market vendors won't want him to represent them anymore. Thank you for your help, citizen. I'd like to report someone. Oh, really? If someone took your stuff, go get it back. If they shoot at you, shoot back. What? Otherwise, <laughs> I've got to see it for myself before I'm going to do anything. <laughs> What's up with that James Hargrave kid? He acts like such a brat. He's trouble. That's what he is. I don't trust him. And neither should you. His mother's a drunk. Spends all her time in the muddy rudder. Yeah, yeah. You've been very helpful. Duty calls. Okay. So should I go back down to the marketplace and I'm, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. And tell Seagrave that I did what he wanted. I did like Seagrave more than the... Hello! Oh, it's Mr. Lopez! Just leave me alone. I'll just stay here, alone. <gasps> He's the guy who goes out and stands on the edge that I've been looking for like five or six times, okay I think. Here. Let's follow him. Maybe I can get all this Rivet City stuff done today. Wouldn't that be amazing? I would I would be very okay with that. I'm not gonna lie. Looks okay here. Don't mind me. I'm just taking up space here. Oh, sir. You, you go on out to the deck and I'll follow you at a safe distance. I'm looking for troublemakers. Have you seen any? Apparently, if I tell you guys I have, you're not gonna tell me to take care of it myself. Why don't you look where you're going? It was just, it was just detergent, sir. Yeah, I'll just, I'll sneak and I'll follow him. Oh, look, it's a Mr. Gutsy. This Private Jones? Sir, yes, sir. Private Jones reporting. Hi. Private, there's a security emergency on the flight deck. So what's your story, Slag Heap? Eddie's private. I'm here to inspect the armory. Sir, you are not authorized to enter the armory. Sir! Oh. Please don't make me shoot you, sir! Oh, okay. I'm just I'm just following Mr. Lopez here. I'm so horrible with names. Is he gonna go to go outside eventually? What is this? Security terminal locked very easy. I feel like I haven't been to so many of these places before. Lauren's works. There we go. I only had two other options, so good. Um, security log. Two more reports of Mirelurk noise from that bow section. There isn't a damn thing that can be done about it. As soon as we clean out one nest, another moves in. I just wish everyone would stop bitching about it. Railing on the flight deck is still broken. Problem has been referred to the council. Brock got in a fight with that sister character. If it happens again, I'm going to have to kick sister off the ship. Caught James Hargrave stealing food at Gary's galley. Tammy paid the fine, although she blistered my ears the whole time. Maybe she spent less money drinking. Oh, wow. I never came all the way up here at all. 
sir. I wish I had the courage to end it all. Oh, sir. If that's really what you want, I'll help you. What? <sighs> Real courage is living. Only cowards commit suicide. Couldn't save your family. Can't kill yourself. You're pathetic. Middle one? You may be right, but I have nothing to live for. What about Ted? He needs guidance, a father figure. Sewer, sewer, sewer side. Suicide is a sin. Kill yourself and your soul won't go to heaven. First one? I don't know who Ted is. Ted Strayer. I suppose I could talk to him. He is kind of a lost boy. Thank you. Is, is Ted Strayer the one who I took all his clothes from him? Like, I was like, give me all, everything that you have and included his clothes. The stranger, someday maybe I'll get courage. No, no, no. Don't have courage to do that. That's horrible. Find something, something, anything. Hello. A book to read. Something that you need to find the ending to so that you have a reason. It's, oh. Yeah, I've never been up here at all. Locked very easy. Um, whoops, nope, front. So easy. <laughs> Okay, same one. Please don't make me shoot you, sir. What was the other option that I had? Sir, yes, sir. Private, there's a security emergency on the flight deck. Sir, that's a really stupid idea, sir. So what's your story, Slag Heap? Sir, this Slag Heap is guarding the armory, sir. <laughs> this is great. All right, um, let me head back down to the marketplace because I want to check in with, what's his name? The, the guy I originally sold my stuff to. Nope, that's flight deck. We're still going down, I think. Wow, I found all kinds of new places I haven't been to. Flight deck. Marketplace is probably still down. Marketplace, marketplace. Here we go. Um, bridge tower, marketplace, here we go. All right, let's talk to Seagrave. Don't mind me, lady. Yeah. Hello, ma'am. Hi. Hey, I heard that Bannon got caught trying to frame me. I also heard you ratted him out. I think you've earned a true blue friendship discount. Awesome. I should leave. See you later. See what Bannon has to say. He's going to be peeved. You told Danvers that I was trying to blackmail Seagrave. Uh-oh. Thanks to you, they've suspended council meeting and are probably going to censure me. Oh, no. I can't ban you from my shop, but they can't tell me what to charge. Are you, are you going to, like... If I... Overcharge me? No, you're not gonna even overcharge me. At all. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Come back soon. Yeah. <laughs> it should have an update of like, go away. Okay, so I need to find my dad. He's here somewhere. You're a petty criminal, but I'm willing to give you another chance. Don't disappoint me. Excuse me? Is there a problem? Yes. Zimmer thought you were an android. Don't worry, I set him straight. I knew there was something about that guy I hated. An android? Good lord. Anyway, thanks for talking to him for me. I I appreciate that. Thanks for the help. Carry on then. Okay. I'm in the marketplace. Why would I need to go to the marketplace? Science lab might be... St. Monica's Church Capital Preservation Society. Um... This place is so confusing. Science lab. Hey there. Hi. I could talk to this guy and give him the Bill of Rights. He's around. Couldn't. What brings you by Rivet City today? Are you, oh no. I have a document you may want, the Bill of Rights. Oh my. I never expected anyone to find this. I didn't even know it was still intact. Well, it is. 
Well, certainly a reward is in order for your efforts. Thanks. How about 100 caps? How about more? Sounds like a deal, apparently. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. I'm not giving you my hat. Well, I suppose that's goodbye then. Come again anytime. My hat forever. You can't have it. Mine. All right, well, I've managed to um, dawdle around in Rivet City long enough to where I am now going to need to pause before I go and talk to Dad, because I imagine that's going to be a whole conversation, and I want to have plenty of time to do that, so we will do that tomorrow. So, as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe, and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Fallout 3 video.